SCS2 2022 has made improvements to the FitExact, FitNotch, and FitCope so that they are going to be stored now in the material. I can now go into the material after they've been applied and show the fit operations that have been done, edit the fit operation, or even delete it. You can also modify the material attributes and the material operation will stay and won't lose any of that information. For example, if I have this pipe that's running through the plate and then I went and changed the thickness of the plate, previously the fit coat, fit notch, or fit exact would be deleted when the material is regenerated and then you'd have to reapply that material operation. The first fit operation that we're going to talk about is the fit notch. In this example, I have a plate that is running through a pipe column and I'll apply a quarter inch clearance for that fit notch. In the column material, there is a new button called Material Operations. This will only be enabled if I have a fit exact fit notch or fit cope applied at this time. I can see that there is a fit notch applied, I can edit it, or I can delete it. I can start to add different fit operations to this piece of material as well and they will all show up. In this example, I'm going to modify the fit notch after my initial input. I'll change the clearance to a half an inch. I can then add another fit notch on the plate below. If I have multiple fit notches applied to a material and don't want one of them anymore, I can then modify just that one fit notch instead of having to regenerate the whole material. I can show all the cuts to determine which one to delete and then delete that bottom notch. As you can see, even though I deleted the bottom notch, the material still held on to that top fit notch. I can then apply a fit exact instead on this bottom one running through the column. I can even delete the material or member that's used in the fit operation and it will still apply. So in this example, I'll delete the plate that's running through the pipe and the fit exact will stay on the column material. Moving over to the bent plate, I can run a fit exact on this one side. Since I've run the fit exact before, I can now just click on it through my quick access sidebar. Now I'll move over and apply a fit cope on the other side of the bent plate. If I were to select the material, then a contextual ribbon will apply for my material and I can see all the operations. I will apply a half inch clearance to this bent plate around the column. Another way to run the fit operation would be to go up to the search and start typing in fit cope. I'll apply a half inch clearance on this side as well. If I change the thickness of the bent plate to a half inch, I won't lose the material fit exact or fit cope operations. These aren't dynamic at the moment, so if I were to change the section size of the column, the fit cope and fit exact would not update at this time. So right now, if I did want those, I would want to delete those fit operations and reapply them once I've changed my column section size. Material fit operations are now available in the model tree. I can see which fit operations are applied or even I can edit the fit operation from the model tree. In the display, 
There have been options added for showing your material operations, hiding your material operations, or hiding all your material operations. If I click the show material operations and select my bent plate, then I can see the transparent material of my bent plate that is not there anymore from my material operation. Going to the other side, I can edit the fit exact if I change my selection filter to material operations. I can then hide all of my material operations that I've done or just hide the material by selecting that bed plate. These material operations can also be accessed from my right click menu. So if I select my material and right click, you can see my show all, hide all, or hide material operations.